Now, I know this may not seem like much. This may not seem like much, and some people probably peeped it for themselves. But this is about, like, the Oprah and stuff like that. Probably it leads into some conspiracy theories or speculation, so forth and so on. You just put it out there, and you can, you can machinate on this, you know what I mean, for yourself. You can try to bottom it out. But first of all, Oprah, right? Oprah's production company, her studio is called what? Oprah. You know Oprah Winfrey? Her studio is called... You understand? Harpo, our production company is called Harpo. In other words, it's by spelling things backwards. Now, we already know her name is supposed to be Orpa. Orpa. You understand? But actually, somebody in her family is dyslexic. There's a whole big story about who, you know, who actually flipped it around. And then when she started to make money, she decided, okay, she's not going to change it back. You see what I'm saying? Because she probably felt a little superstitious that if she put it the Bible way, so automatically her name was supposed to be Orpah from the Bible, but now her name really is not biblically related at all. You understand? Even though the grandmother or whoever aunt or whoever named her, that basically is the one who had the Bible in mind. So she was... How can you say she was a blessing in mind, but somehow things got mixed up in reverse. So anyway, it's Orpa, but then the letters in Orpa, you understand, the R and the P get flipped around to become the P and the R, public relations, the PR, you understand, for, for Oprah, right? So that's the first little reverse flip mode, what we call flip mode. Now, next, let's deal with the name Oprah. You spell that backward, and we have Harpo. So backward is spelled, and backward it is Harpo, right? Oh, Har- Har- Harpo, right? Okay. Now she's come out this new network. Some of y'all know where we're going on this, and I don't know how many people have been talking about it, but we kind of just was looking at it for ourselves. When we saw Oprah Winfrey Network, we was like, wait. You know, somehow it was almost instinctive that we pulled that out. You know, when you know that so much else in Oprah's past seems to be Backward. There's a lot of backward. There's a backward idea with this Oprah or Oprah or whatever, Winfrey, right? So we saw own. It's own, right? Our own network. This is our own. This is our own. So forth and so on, right? right, right. Okay. But what is own backward? Think about it for a moment because when I first shared this with one of my, my brethren, he, he didn't really get it so immediately, but now... What is it backward? What is own backward? Own backward is N W O. You know what I'm saying? So the Oprah Winfrey Network, if we look at it in reverse logic, you know, when they say a lot of occultism, a lot of uh, you know, New World Order Freemasonry and other kind of jibber jab basically is flip mode. So if we flip mode it, O W N would actually be N-W-O. So this is three proofs. They said with two or three witnesses, the Bible, the Bible teaches, with two or three witnesses, every word is established. And this is a legal principle that comes down in English common law. Even nowadays, if you want to prove something legally, you need to maybe get a couple of witnesses, so forth and so on. That two or three witness rule, although it began originally in Western culture from the Bible, now it has become a part of law. You understand? You need to have two or three witnesses if you want to prove something. So we have, first of all, the name. Her name, Oprah, biblical, flip mode, Oprah. Then we have Oprah Winfrey, the Oprah Winfrey show. Oprah, flip mode, is Harpo, right? Now we have her have a network. Gradual stages. We see this is progressing in stages. Gradual stages, increments. They call it incrementalism. Look it up. Check it out. So now, at the third stage, we have owned, own network. Look at it backward, mirror image, mirror image, it's NWO. Now, here's the big question. So what does this mean? Is Oprah down with the NWO? Now, if we need to answer that for some of y'all, some of y'all ain't really paying attention. Please, the price of truth is to pay attention because... My people, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. A little bit more to come. This is one of our random rants. Really, it's a little what we call our own betilic. In other words, our own little in-depth. You understand? Just a little bit of food for thought. Don't starve to death. All right? All right. More to come, y'all willing.